There they are. So let's see how much one harvest of this farm gives us. And oh, that's already a lot. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. So today, uh, I want to make <coughs> the grinder. Because I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to grind, and I actually spent some time in between episodes gathering up all the resources I need, including a lot of metal. And we've got all of that. All we need now is polymer. And you know what? Grab it. Getting polymer is a pain. So today we are going to make a polymer farm. And if you guys want to follow along at home, you know, use this as sort of a tutorial, then you are more than welcome to. So this is my design. Um, the uh, efficiency of it depends on your breeding rates. I've got quite high breeding rates, so it will be rather good. So, yeah, to start off, we just want to make a little area of foundation. Then I'm going to lay this out nicely. Um... So I'm just going to use the foundation they already have, basically, and build out a little bit. Uh, just build out this way a little bit, maybe push it back. Just trying to make it in the same like alignment as my base there. And then uh, we'll go down here. Can we pick up that bit of thatch? Oh, that's going to annoy me. Gotta pick it up. <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, put that down there, and then we can pick up all of these guys, and this will be our starting point. Uh, so let me just grab all these guys. <laughs> um, I'm using stone partially because it's it doesn't get broken as easily, partially because I've got quite a bit of it from drops. Um, you can use any resource you want, really. Uh, and then once you have all of these picked up, okay. Now, you want to go uh, four, uh, oh, I'm a little bit, I, I underestimated the distance here, um, I want to leave at least a little bit of a gap between, betwixt that and my base. Uh, you know what, we're going to move the location a little bit more, <laughs> I've decided. Um, We'll build it more out here. Yeah, okay, one, two, three, four. Pick up these two here. Uh, that's only three at the moment. Uh. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you want to leave the middle open. Um, the middle doesn't need to be water. I just have it water because there's water already here. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, now that you've got that, so you leave the middle unfilled in. Now you just want to get some walls and build up the wall. Uh, I've got all my structures inside, which is why I'm going to keep on running back and forth. So, oh my gosh, it's so loud in here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but these penguins are sort of the um, the bread and butter of this farm, so to say, you know? Uh, so yeah, just get up a bunch of walls. And it doesn't really matter how tall this is. I'm going to make it too tall, just because that seems like a good height. But you can make it however tall or short as you like. Um, I might need more walls here. Oh, that's the wrong type of wall. Uh, I wish that the default for that was like a railing or something, because it looks too similar to the normal walls. <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, uh, let me through. Uh, there's my... Are these actual walls? No, that's what I just grabbed. Here's the actual walls. Okay, fantastic. And I am way too heavy. Ah, there we go. Alright, so you wanna come on over here and you wanna build this up. Um, probably one. One wall tall would probably be tall enough. I'm, again, I'm making it two just because I can. So you wanna go all the way around. Uh, make sure to leave space for a door. I'll put my door over here. Uh, yeah. Nope. That's not a door. Ooh. And I'm just going to do a normal short one. And then all the way around. And yeah, I'm going to make mine too tall just because I can. Uh, I'm going to need a few more walls. Oh. And this is a pretty easy design as well, which I love, because it's easy. 
Um, yeah, grab the rest of these walls and keep on building. So you just want to go like that, like that, like that, like that. Da 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 da. Nice. So now you've got your little room here. You want to run inside to get more stuff. <laughs> or maybe you'd be smart and bring your stuff outside with you, but I am not that smart, so we have to go and grab my stuff. Um, I forgot to put a door in. I'll do that. But you want a bunch of ceilings now. And you want to put the ceilings anywhere where the foundations are. So... Uh, uh, and then leaving the middle open like we did before. No, I actually did make this farm on um, on my Cabalist series. It's not going to be quite as efficient as it was on there just because, you know, I had cryopods and there's a lot of stuff on there that made it a lot more efficient. But this will still be pretty good. So it looks pretty ugly right now. I'm just making the bare bone. That'll add some more detail later. But I'm just making it so that it works. Uh, you want to grab a ladder so you can actually get up top. Um, I'm not sure if I... Do I have a ladder? Or do I have to make one? Um, I might have to make one. Yeah, I'll have to make one. That's fine. Uh... You actually need two ladders to get all the way up. Uh, and then, actually, before I head back up, I'm also going to grab uh, these quarter ceilings. And these will be... Well, you'll see, you'll see. Um, and, you know, I don't know if this is the most efficient farm design, but it's the one that I like to do, and... Uh, Actually, I probably should have made that one of these a hatch frame. Um, hang on, I'm going to climb out the outside and do that. Uh, if we just put the ladders there, we should be able to get up nice and easily. And I'll just make this one down in the corner here a hatch frame so we can actually get in and out. Oh, wrong, wrong structure. There we go. Uh, pick up the ladders. There we go. And then these will snap to the hat frame like oh. Yeah, the, the second one doesn't want to snap, guys. No, it's fine. Uh I have a plan. Hold on, I'm gonna pick up that guy. Put a hat frame there. And then, if I pick up that, will the ladder stay? It will. Ah, oh, look at that ingenuity. And then we can now climb all the way up. So once you're up here, you want to grab your little quarter walls. And just do them like this all the way around. You can also fill in these corner bits. Um, I'm not going to bother for now. I might do it in a minute, just for aesthetic purposes. But yeah, you just want to do that. And then... Uh, actually, gra grab the items you need. Um, hello, everybody. Hello. You're very noisy, I know. Uh, you want to grab a bunch of these half walls. And I'm doing a combination of stone and wood just for decorational purposes. You don't have to. It can be one or the other. Um, in fact, it doesn't even need to be, uh, it doesn't even need to be railings. It can just be normal walls. Uh, again, I'm just doing it for decorational purposes. So, but yeah, I'm just doing this so that I can actually see into the farm, which I think looks quite cool. So you can just do railings all the way around here. Fantastic. And then I'm going to do a layer of woodens. Uh, do they want to snap on top? Uh, there you go. Got it. Uh, 
Um, and this is just to make sure that everything's nicely closed off. And none of your, none of your penguins are going to run off. I might actually need to make up some more walls here. I think I will. That's fine though. I got plenty of things. Yeah, when I was gathering up all that metal for the uh, grinder, I ended up getting a lot of stone as well because when you harvest, oh, there we go, I'm out. Um, how many more am I gonna need? I'm gonna need one more wooden. And I'm going to, actually, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this top layer as just like normal walls. Um, oh, if, I can, if I can actually place them properly, that is. Uh, that one right there. Oh. Let me through. There we go. Uh, oh, come on. That place the wrong way. Ah! <laughs> uh, you guys get the idea, though. You guys get the idea. Um, okay. You know, it might actually be easier to just place from up here, maybe. Oh, no. Uh, there we go. I'm going to need to make up a few more, but before I do that, I'm going to... Well, I have to make up a few more anyway. Um, I'll show you guys the next step, though. And this is the hardest part of the farm, in my opinion. It's rather tedious. Um, you want to make up some sort of a roof, or like ceiling piece. Um, I'm, I'm just going to use wooden. It can be any, but wooden, I think, works well. And... Oh, jump up here. And just, this is just going to be temporary, but you want to place that in the middle there. Okay. Now, what you want to do, and this is why this part is rather tedious and annoying. Uh, first up, just to make it as easy as possible on yourself, you can go into behavior and go follow distance to the lowest setting and then copy that to all of them. And then I'm just going to find a male to start off here. Um, I think, yeah, I have males over here. Okay. So you want to get all of your penguins up on top of here. I'll just do it with this first one just to show you what I mean. Um, dang, you didn't make it. <laughs> Ali oop. Ali oop. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this on camera, guys. Here we go. And he's going up. He shoots. Ah, oh, okay. I'll just climb up the ladder with him. I can't climb up the ladder with the penguin, can't I? If not, I can just carry them up with the RG. Um, I might not actually be able to. I might need to use the RG here. That's fine, though. Um, where is me RG? There she is. Come on, Stevie. I need your assistance. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Um, all right, there we go. We got him. So you just want to pop up here with him, get them on to follow, and you just want to make sure you have enough males for the area. But you want to get this guy, and this is this is why this part is so hard and tedious. It's even made even more tedious. I hate to say by the new AI. I have to admit. Um, you just want to get him right onto the edge. Like. So. Yeah, if I get you off of following. Chuck you down. And come on. Come here. Come on. Yes, okay. 
then stop and then the way you test to see if they are enough over is fantastic and then actually i'll get a female in here as well so that we can do a proper test to make sure that they're in the right place there we go um yeah because if the well i'll show you guys what i mean but uh we just need to make sure that they are enough over um so yeah we can pick up you and get you upstairs dang it <laughs> i'll go and grab stevie <laughs> i'll just strike you down there get you on to follow all right come on buddy no no oh, where are you going wait <laughs> oh this is why this part's so annoying uh can probably be a little bit no don't go around you need to like manipulate their pathfinding to try to get them to go where you want them to go. No, no, don't go around. My goodness. No, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> um, the other way is to try and throw them into place, but that's actually that 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 almost works there. Um, it might actually be easier because of their pathfinding. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be over enough, but I can... Ch oh, yes, that is actually perfect. So this is almost definitely going to work because look at how much over she is. And so to test, though, you just want to chuck them. Enable mating. Enable mating. And then once this is done, the egg should end up down there. So that is the hope. Um... While we wait for you to mate up, I'm just going to grab some more structures and patch up some of these holes that we've still got in here. Oh, come on. <laughs> but then hopefully when we come back, the egg should be down the hole, and then that's how you know it works. And then you just got to get um, a bunch more penguins in there. The only rule to remember is you need to have make sure that they're all close enough to a male. And then so long as they're all close enough to a male, you'll be good. So we'll make up a couple more of these, and then uh, do I not have the stone wall? No nope, stone. Stone quarter wall. There it is. Uh, how many more of these can we make? We can make four more of these. Perfect. Um, all right, fantastic. You guys should hopefully be just about finished in there. Um, okay. You're about to be done, and the egg should drop down into the pit. So any second now, we'll see if we are, we are in business. I'm just going to patch up these holes around here. Ah, there we go. And look at that. It dropped down. So that means that this is working. So I'm just going to uh, put some more penguins into the farm here and take you off of mating as well. Um... We can put you guys back on to mating in just a minute. Okay, guys, I've got all the penguins here. So I've got 12 females and 4 males. That means I'll get 12 eggs each time. So very important here. You want to make sure that everybody's on passive and everybody's on ignore group whistle. And then just make sure to copy all those settings over. And yep, fantastic. <clears throat> so the next step of this farm is you want to grab a air conditioner which I... you can get those out of drops nowadays, so I've actually got a couple built up. Um, right here. See, I've got a load of pink ones still left over. Um, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want... I, I wanted to make sure I bred up enough, so... Oh, it's very loud in here. Uh, looks like one of our guys fell down. Oh wait, no, that's not a guy falling down. That is a baby have already hatched. Um, that must be from the little test egg that we did. Um, I just demolished this wall, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, you just want to grab your air conditioner and just sort of 
place it up against one of these walls. Like so, and oh, it's actually outside of my generator range. I've got a generator in my house over there. What if I put it on this side of the wall? Will it be in range then? Um, it is, haha. -ha. <laughs> so you want to have a wee little thing there. And then you do want to make some sort of a doorway to get into here. So I'm just going to grab, well, I'm just going to actually do it like that. And then I can get in and out through there. And then if you just uh, build this back up, make sure that they can't get out. I mean, they shouldn't be able to get out anyway, to be fair, but it's just making doubly sure. There we go. And that is pretty much the farm complete. So to turn it on and use it, and I'll quickly show you guys that. So you want to... Hit enable mating on one of them and then copy those settings to all nearby. Like so. Oh, by the way, I've got, I'm not sure I've mentioned, but I've got four males, one on each side. Um, and then you want to, while those guards are going, you want to go and grab your Pelagonis because that is the most efficient creature for grabbing uh, polymer. And just <laughs> squeeze it through there. It's actually quite nice that I've built this in the, um, in here. And then yeah, uh, we haven't. We've already got one guy here actually. Um, he's trying to fight back. He is. There we go. And that guy will only give me a little bit, but the babies actually, for some reason, give more. So yeah. <laughs> um, I'll bring you guys back once we have some eggs and some babies in here to take out. Alright, guys, we've got some eggs here. They're about to hatch up. Uh, and here they are. So let's see how much one harvest of this farm gives us. And oh, that's already a lot. 45. And okay, there we go. And look at that. That's almost 100 polymer per harvest. Um, and again, your breeding settings will depend on how many harvests you can get. You guys could definitely squeeze more penguins in here. Um, if you put some eggs down and roast them from babies, once you have, once we have cryopods, they'll be a lot easier, but this farm is really, really lovely. So we should go and see if we can make that, um, make that grinder now. Definitely. Okay, guys, I'm just going ahead to try and make up the grinder and I've actually run into a bit of an unexpected problem here. Um, I can't actually fit all the polymer into the machine. <laughs> um, so never, never fear though. I've got a, a fix. So... If I just check how much more I need, it is uh, 31, and I should be able to make that out of normal polymer. Yes, yeah, two obsidian and two cementing paste per normal polymer. So I should be able to do that. So 31, that is uh, 62 of each. Um, so I believe I have, yep, I have plenty of obsidian in here. So if I just have 62 of it, uh, 60, 61, 62, and then 62, oh wait, hang on, uh, Sixty-two of that as well, and I just dump all of that into there. Then we should be able to craft up um, thirty-one polymer. Nice, and then that will push us over the edge to be able to make the grinder. And I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to grind up, so I'm very excited to use it. Wait, while we wait for that to uh, to actually work, I'll show you guys all that stuff. Um, it's not in here. I'm just putting the saddle away. Uh, okay, I don't have enough space to put the saddle away. That actually could be a good opportunity to find something else to grind. Um, like this sniper. I believe I have a better one upstairs. So you see, back here, I've got all of this stuff to grind and all of this stuff to grind. So this should give us a bunch of resources. 
which will be very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. And we can just grind any stuff that we don't need from now on as well. Uh, so this is polymer just about done. It is getting there. Uh, hopefully I can... I can just top up all of these stacks there. Alright, grind... Uh, grind... Industrial grinder, here we go! Yes! Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Ah, oh, there, there it is. There it is, and it is... Oh my gosh, it's huge! Wow, um... Might have to put this upstairs. What about right... Oh my gosh, this thing is massive! <laughs> Whoa, um... Why is it so big? I don't know where we can put this, even. Um, can we squeeze it in here? No, probably not. Uh, <laughs> what if I pick up this air conditioner? Let me turn that off, because it's incredibly loud. Will it fit in there? I might have to make a whole new building just for this. Oh, actually, what if I... Um, <laughs> it covers up our, um... It covers up our entrance a little bit, but you know, that's fine. We can move the entrance to here. Uh, there we go. There, oh, that is the wrong piece. Um, there we go. Okay, I might make a different place, but this will do for now. Um, let's see if we can grind, though. So... What's the best way to do this? Um, I suppose we just make sure we're nice and clear of stuff. And then let's make a folder. Grinder. And that's already too heavy. Oh, this is going to be a lot of resources. Give me a minute while I card all this stuff over, guys. Alright guys, I've got it fully loaded up. Um, I have a feeling that it's going to be loud, so let's test it out. Uh, actually, it's not that bad. It's only about as loud as the fabricator. And let's just grind everything up. And oh my gosh, look at that. Tons of... Okay, so we've got 8 angler gel. Okay. Uh, hundreds of uh, cementing paste. A little bit of chitin. A little bit of crystal. Some electronics, which is really nice. I wonder what we got that from. Oh, probably the elevators. Uh, loads of fiber, some flint, loads of hide, loads of metal, loads of obsidian, loads of polymer, uh, loads of wood. Yeah, this will come in handy. And a few silica pearls. Yeah, uh, I am ecstatic with this. I am very, very, very happy. Um, so yeah, I think that's about all we have time for. Wait, actually, no, before I end the video off, I am going to decorate this to make it look better and also grab this drop. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I almost forgot. Because it looks awful at the moment. <laughs> uh, what, what do we got in here? Uh, okay. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't mind if I do. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'll bring you guys back once I've added a little bit more um, niceness to that. Uh, all right, guys. I think. Oh, what am I missing? I'm missing water. Oh, uh, drink water. Remember to hydrate, guys. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but I'm happy with it, and it's functional. So, yeah, I'd, I'd call this a success. Uh, we've got all of our resources from the grinder here. Um, I think our next step is going to be we need to figure out a better storage solution. Because our storage has served us well thus far. But, okay, that was a bad example. Uh, that's also a... Oh, wait, no, this is a good example. But, like, we're running out of space fast. And we need to come up with a better storage solution. So with the grinder and all the metal we have, it may be time to uh, move our storage into its own space. Um, 
yeah so that might be that might be what the next episode entails or it might not be depending on if i get bored um but until then i'd like to thank everybody for watching if you did enjoy do be sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye